Hello everyone, welcome to the Book of Gods. Today, we will discuss the Titan of Mark in Greek religion, which was a great war that occurred between the Titans, the old generation of Greek gods and the Olympians, led by Zeus. The war lasted for a total of 10 years, ending in the defeat of the Uranus, the ruler of the universe. Uranus was a tyrant ruler and he caused the wrath of his wife Gaia after incarcerating some of her children, the Cyclops and the Hecate and Kairos, in the depths of the Earth Tartarus. Gaia decided to take revenge and created a giant sickle. She then told her children to castrate their father in order to overthrow him. Only Cronus agreed, and after he formed a plot with his mother, he managed to overpower his father and castrate him. From Uranus' blood that fell on the earth, three sets of children were born, the Gigantus, the Erinus, and the Malay. While from the blood that fell into the sea, goddess Aphrodite was born. Cronus took the throne from his father. But not before, Uranus made a prophecy that his son would be overthrown by his own sons. Afraid that he would lose the reign, Cronus turned into the same tyrant god that his father was. He put his brothers back into Tartarus and also ate his own children in an effort to prevent the prophecy from becoming true. However, his wife Rhea tricked him and saved her youngest child Zeus from his father's paranoia. She hid Zeus in a cave in a crater where he was raised by a goat Amalthea. When Zeus grew up, he became his father's cupbearer without revealing his true identity. Helped by Medus, the titan goddess who later became Zeus's first wife, he gave Cronus a mixture of wine and mustard, causing him to vomit one by one all the children he had swallowed. When all of his brothers and sisters were freed, Zeus gathered them and convinced them to start a rebellion against their father. Thus started the titan Amaki. Gaia then intervened and told Zeus that victory could be assured if he released the Hecate and Kairos and Cyclops from their imprisonment. So Zeus travelled deep into Tartarus and there he fought with the mighty Campe, killing the dragon guard and freeing the prisoners. They all agreed to fight with him. The Hecate and Kairos started hurling rocks against the root titans while the Cyclops created the famous thunderbolts for the leader Zeus. Themis and Prometheus were the only titans that fought on the side of Zeus. After the war ended resulting in Olympian victory, the male titans were sent to Tartarus to be imprisoned by new bronze grades crafted by Poseidon and the Cyclops, and the Hecate and Kairos were given the position of prison guards. Atlas was given special punishment, though he was charged with holding up the damaged sky for all eternity. Zeus along with his brothers Poseidon and Hades divided the universe by still drawing straws. Zeus won and became the king of the sky as well as the ruler of all modern gods. Poseidon became the ruler of the seas, while Hades, who drew the shortest straw, became the ruler of the underworld. This was the dawn of a new era in the Greek religion.